We're hearing from emergency personnel after five college students were safely rescued from Lake Hartwell. The rescue happened Friday night in Anderson County. Our Jennifer Reddy spoke with rescuers and enjoying us live now from Lake Hartwell. Jennifer, what happened? Rescuers say that the initial call came in as a drowning and one person missing, but thankfully everyone was rescued and emergency officials are crediting life jackets and technology. Members respond to a drought in 473 Green Pond Road. First responders descended on Lake Hartwell Friday night. Lake Hartwell uh, doesn't white cap a lot, but it was white capping that night. SCDNR says five Furman students took a canoe and an inflatable paddleboard out on the water to camp on an island. But emergency officials say the canoe started taking on water. Myself and uh, four others got on our, uh, our rescue vessel at Portman Marina. We took off from there and in just pitch black, did everything we could to try to find these people. Josh Hawkins says the conditions were cold and windy. Dispatch stayed on the phone with them. They used a program called Rapid SOS and pinged the phone while they were on the phone with them and found the precise location. We're sending you a picture that a Rapid SOS to you. As we finally got that uh, ping location locked in, we came up on them. And when we came up on them, uh, all we could see is the glow of a, a cell phone where he was still on the phone with the dispatch. Confirm, we do have contact. Uh, we're about to pull up on them now. When we pulled up to them, we had the one guy sitting on top of the paddleboard and the four holding on to the paddleboard. And immediately I took a head count. Hawkins says everyone was accounted for and wearing life jackets. The thing that saved their life is all five of them had life jackets on. And rescuers say the rapid SOS system was key in bringing them to safety. County, we've got contact with five. We've got five on board. A lot of times on, on Lake Hartwell, especially during the dark, there is no landmark. So having the dispatcher have the ability to actually pinpoint within feet of that phone is, is very vital for us. And Hawkins is also commending dispatchers and rescuers. He says all five people were hypothermic, but SCDNR says they were treated and released. In the meantime, Hawkins is reminding people as the weather gets warmer and people head out on the water to make sure they have life jackets and a signaling device. Reporting live in Anderson County, Jennifer Reddy, WYFF News 4.